Alcohol is a depressant, a drug that slows brain and nerve function. It is legal for adults, but it has a high potential for abuse and addiction. Alcohol impairs coordination, reasoning, balance, speech, reaction time, and judgment. Taken in large amounts, it can cause memory loss, nausea, vomiting, loss of consciousness, or death. If a person who is dependent stops drinking alcohol, they may experience withdrawal symptoms. These include shaking, headache, confusion, and sweat. Alcohol withdrawal can be life-threatening. Cocaine is made from the leaves of the coca plant. Crack is made from cocaine. Both are powerful stimulants, a class of drug that speeds up brain and nerve activity. They also have a numbing or anesthetic effect. Cocaine and crack cause increased energy, alertness, and confidence, and decreased appetite. Both are highly addictive. In large amounts, these drugs can cause irritability, paranoia, irregular heartbeat, stroke, seizure, heart attack, and even death. A regular user who stops taking the drug may experience severe withdrawal. Opioids are a class of drug related to morphine which comes from opium poppy plants. Some are made from the plant, and others are made in a lab. When injected, opioids cause pinpoint pupils and a rush of warmth and pleasure. This is followed by a period of drowsiness and clouded thinking. Opioids may also cause itching, nausea, and vomiting. With high doses, a user may lose consciousness and stop breathing. Prescription opioids are used to treat pain. But like all opioids, they also have a high potential for misuse and addiction. Stopping opioid use can cause withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal can feel like a bad flu, with body aches, chills, diarrhea, and vomiting. Inhalants are chemicals that are taken only by inhaling. They can impair coordination, speech, and judgment. These substances are not designed to be used as drugs. Rather, they are found in common household products. Inhalants can affect the brain with great force and speed. They may cause hallucinations, confusion, seizures, brain damage, or sudden death. Cannabinoids are a large group of compounds found in cannabis or marijuana plants. In some places, cannabinoids are legal for prescription or recreational use. They come in many forms, some that cause a high and some that do not. Cannabis contains THC and other mind-altering compounds. It causes a relaxed, peaceful feeling, though it can also cause anxiety and paranoia. Cannabinoids can impair thinking, memory and attention. They affect coordination and balance, and they slow reaction time. MDMA, or ecstasy, is chemically similar to both stimulants and hallucinogens. As such, it can cause both an increase in energy and distortions in perception. Because MDMA causes feelings of euphoria and emotional connection to others, it became popular in dance clubs and at underground raves. Other effects of MDMA include involuntary jaw clenching, muscle cramping, chills, and sweating. At high levels, it can cause panic attacks and seizures. 
It also interferes with the body's temperature regulation, which can lead to overheating, dehydration, and heart or kidney failure. Methamphetamine is a lab-made stimulant, a class of drug that speeds up brain and nerve activity. It is similar to, but more powerful than, amphetamines. Methamphetamine causes increased alertness and energy and decreased appetite. High doses can cause seizures, severe overheating, and heart damage. Because the drug is toxic to the brain, repeated use can have long-term effects beyond dependency and addiction. Methamphetamine is highly addictive. Over time, users may develop violent and self-harming behavior, malnutrition, memory loss, anxiety, insomnia, paranoia, and delusions. Nicotine is the active substance in tobacco plants. Nicotine has stimulant effects. It increases nerve activity and heart rate, though for regular users it can have a calming effect. Nicotine is legal for adults to use, but it is highly addictive. Stopping nicotine use can cause withdrawal symptoms. These include intense cravings, difficulty concentrating, irritability, and sleep disturbances. Most products with nicotine also deliver harmful substances to the body. These contribute to many health problems, including cancer, heart disease, stroke, emphysema, and COPD, a chronic lung disease. Psychedelics are a group of drugs that cause hallucinations and other distortions in perception. Some, like psilocybin and mescaline, are found in nature. Others, like LSD, are made in a lab. Hallucinogens intensify sensations and emotions. They cause users to see, hear, and feel things that aren't actually there. Users may experience several emotions at once or swing rapidly from one emotion to another. Other effects include increased body temperature, heart rate, and blood pressure, dilated pupils, loss of appetite, nausea, paranoia, panic, and sleeplessness. GHB is a depressant that partygoers use for its relaxing effects. At high doses, or when combined with other drugs, GHB can cause hallucinations, nausea, slowed breathing, coma, or death. Rohypnol is a benzodiazepine, a class of depressants. Though it is chemically similar to anti-anxiety medications, Rohypnol is not approved for medical use in the United States. When mixed with alcohol or other depressants, it can be deadly. Because GHB and Rohypnol are colorless, tasteless, and odorless, they can be slipped into someone's drink without their noticing. They can be used as a date rape drug. Victims may be unable to fight off their attackers, and they may not remember what happened. Dissociative drugs cause hallucinations and distortions in perception, as well as feelings of detachment from the body and its surroundings. PCP can cause users to lose touch with reality and behave unpredictably or violently. At high doses, it can cause fever, seizures, coma, or death. Ketamine is an anesthetic that has been used in both people and animals. It is chemically related to PCP, and its effects are similar, but less intense. Still, some users report a terrifying feeling, much like a near-death experience. Dextromethorphan is a cough suppressant. At the recommended dose, it is safe, but at higher doses, its effects are similar to those of PCP or ketamine. 